I wanted to share with you something that came up today during a coaching call I had where the guy I was talking to was talking to me about a lot of courses that he did regarding self-development and things that he learned and how there are a lot of things that he wanted to do and he knew how to do them. He knew what he needed to do, but he could not do it. And I had to interject at that point and tell him that that sentence saying like, hey, I knew what I needed to do or I know how to do it and then not succeeding in doing it, I had to interject where it's not possible to have both. Because there's a difference between theoretical knowledge and effective knowledge. Theoretical knowledge is where I teach you a very uh, simple concept. So you can say, you know, if you want to approach a woman and get a generally positive response, you need to be outgoing, you need to be positive, you need to have good eye contact, um, you need to be, you know, funny, but not a clown, but you also need to be serious, but not too serious. So this is how you theoretically do it. Now, there's a big difference between theoretically knowing how to do something and how to act effectively knowing how to do it or practically knowing how to do it. That, and that's the only thing that I consider like knowing. Yeah, where when somebody just describes you the theory of something, you could call it, I know about it. Or I know about how it's supposed to be. But you don't actually know it. And a full map of knowledge... The cool thing about it is that it requires a complete understanding of not only how the concept works, but how to apply it in yourself. So nobody can teach you practical knowledge. They can get you there step by step, but nobody can just give you the practical knowledge. And that's why people are so lazy about it, because it requires a lot of thought and effort and experience and trial and error to create practical experience. You know, it's very easy to open a book, read about um, business or fitness or relationships and say, okay, I know it, I checked it off. But the actual knowledge of how to implement it in your life, this is where, again, it requires a lot of your own volition and initiative and thinking, post-action thinking. So what does effective knowledge look like? The way it looks is, let's say that the, con the thing we're talking about is how to schedule your days and how to um, basically balance your time the way that would be the most uh, optimal for you. That, that, was incident that was exactly, by the way, the topic him and I were talking about. So just knowing how to divide your time theoretically, like this is the... You know, you should put this much time for this or this much time to that. This is the activity you should do. You should also do, also do this activity. Just knowing theoretically the things you need to do. Again, it's just theoretical knowledge. And practical knowledge is the actual implementation. So you have complete knowledge when you can decide. Whenever you decide to implement it, you can do it. So... So you have complete knowledge at the moment where you can at any time create a strategy to make it happen and have an almost certain chance to succeed. What I mean is when I, for example, sit down every night and schedule my days, you know, the next day and usually kind of, I, I usually like to schedule uh, like a week ahead and the further the days go, I'm less strict about it. So the, the, tomorrow I'm super strict about my time. The next day I'm a bit less strict and then so on and so, and so forth. And I do that every day. And 95% of what I set up actually happens. You know, so I set up uh, meditation and working out and meetings and coaching calls and certain deadlines and things I want to accomplish, and they almost always get accomplished. 
But the reason for that is because I don't just have theoretical knowledge of what I should do. I also have practical knowledge, deep, effective knowledge of how I actually work. So I know exactly what buttons I need to push. I know what motivates me. I know the things that I'll trip on, the, the errors I'll make, things I tend to get wrong. Basically, I'm already predicting ahead of time how to make sure that it actually happens. And this, again, is the difference between theoretical knowledge and practical knowledge. So you don't have actually practical knowledge until you can implement it almost 100% of the time, until you can subjectively take that theoretical knowledge and apply it in your own life with consistency. So whenever you're reading a book and trying to learn something new, come from the approach of, turning this theoretical knowledge into practical knowledge because it's really a web that goes really deep, like a, a levels of complexity where, for example, to say I have true effective knowledge of scheduling my days and how to actually control my time, what that means is I have mastered the idea of motivation. So I know exactly what motivates me. I also mastered the idea of procrastination, of what destroys my motivation, of what makes me skip things, how my energy works. I've mastered how to deal with health and energy and the right foods that I need to eat. So it's very complex. It's very deep. You know, like, like even, even I have to ma master the habit of even doing the the habit itself of scheduling so even that is part of it if you can't you don't just need to know how to do it you need to actually know how to create the habit of doing it and do that effectively and that raises the question do you know how to effectively create habits for yourself so when you start to instead of dabbling in theory and actually trying practically to do stuff that's where you're going to hit walls and the walls are where you sat down and had a plan and you said I'm going to do this and something else happened that you did not plan usually for the worse but sometimes for the better if it happened for the better you take the element that made it better like you know your mom <laughs> gave you messaged you and told you she loves you and that made you really happy <laughs> so now you had more motivation or something so you, you, you take that and say, okay, so I know something that motivates me, so I'm going to try to implement it more in my days. Or if, again, most likely the plan failed, you ask yourself, you, you, you um, separate the elements of what happened and you try to find cause and effect and say, oh, when I came back uh, from work, I was really, really tired. And apparently when I'm tired, I don't do the things that I said I would because I don't have willpower. So then what's the solution? Well, either, first of all, sleep more, eat better food, more whole foods so that you have more energy, work out, maybe get a job that you like, or maybe find a way to like your job. Now at least you know the problem and that's how you build that practical knowledge and keep chipping away closer and closer to a perfect representation of how to actually get yourself to implement things 100% of the time. And the cool thing about it is that the fundamental ground is the hardest to get of practical knowledge, but it's also the one, the one that will help you the most and will stick. So once you learn the basics, like how to create habits, how to properly think, how to strategize, what pitfalls make you lose motivation, what makes you get motivation, what helps you stay committed, what are your values, like the basics. Once you've got those down, the cool thing is that you turn into sort of a clay that you can mold on your own so you can literally sit down and decide 
I'm going to be this and this and this, or this is who I want to be now. And you know exactly how to take every single habit or thing that you want to create and actually implement it and create it with pretty much 100% certainty that will happen because you know what in terms of energy, how much energy you have, what, again, motivates you, how to create the habit properly, uh, how to get yourself committed to doing it. You literally know everything about what gets you forward and what blocks your progress. And that's effective knowledge. That's when you can say, I know how to do something. So when I say I know how to create habits, I don't mean I read in a book a strategy to create habits. I mean, I am a master of creating habits for me. So I have subjectively learned everything I need to know about me to predict with almost 100% accuracy that I will do a habit that I set out to do. And just think how integral it is to learn a simple skill like that. Because if you can't set habits, well, you can't really do anything. So I hope this is a good taste for practical purposes, things that make you more effective, kind of like why I enjoy reading books so much, why uh, I can read sometimes 10 hours in one day, and I just don't want to stop. It's because every time I read a book, I feel like my mind is getting sharper and my map of reality is getting a bit more clear and sharp and I can navigate better. So I can better respond to situations. I can better judge them. Are they good or are they bad? My opinions become more rational argument based yeah like <laughs> hope this video inspired you and um keep watching subscribe if you haven't and i'll talk to you soon bye bye